Hello YouTubers, Reloading Bench back with you once again, and we are not in the garage, and we are not <clears throat> on the bench. We are upstairs, and this video is going to be about uh, my my build, my build to make a standing desk. So in my old age, with health issues, sitting uh, and uh, working is not the best thing to do all day so i'm going to mix that in with sitting and standing and to do that i decided i would get a uh, standing desk so when i started looking <clears throat> it was kind of challenging to find the desk that i wanted so what i was looking for and the biggest issue was the top the size i wanted uh, as close to my current desk uh, that i'm used to size wise surface space wise as possible and that's approximately 30 by 55 29 I think it's actually 29 by 55 so finding a standing desk my options were very limited uh, because of uh, two reasons one that particular size and two the thickness of the uh, both the thickness and the type of material for the top of the desk and I, I just wasn't interested in laminate you know press board with a thin veneer to look like something else so and I didn't want to spend a gazillion dollars either so you know looked around at the warehouses like the Costco's uh, searching the rainforest for the complete desk and I decided for me my route would be to buy the frame which you see in front of you right now and the top separately so uh, when I was looking for the frame, I decided that I wanted a dual motor. So these little white labels uh, are are each of the motors, as opposed to one motor with a rod that turns for the legs to uh, to go up or down uh, in uh, in sync. And I also wanted uh, three stage instead of two stage. So three pieces of metal to go up and down instead of just the two for added stability and strength, as well as increased. Uh, weight capacity on the tabletop so uh, I ended up choosing this particular model from the rainforest uh, top sky if I'm even pronouncing that correctly um, and you know it had uh, it had everything I was looking for uh, it was more money than I was looking to pay um, the competitors are around a hundred dollars less but again they weren't two stage excuse me they weren't three stage they were two stage um, and I was looking for a specific type of uh, control. I didn't want something just gaudy, uh, and this was nice and aesthetically pleasing to me. So that's what I chose, and that arrived recently, so I put it together. The tabletop was supposed to be here um, because what I ended up finding was, I thought, a great combination, and I ordered this particular butcher block finished in acacia so it's acacia wood finished in espresso stain and it's 30 inches by 60 inches with an inch and a half thick so quite thick and it's real wood so this would give me the solid desktop i'm looking for it's funny because when i was ordering it it said pick up on friday or have delivered to your home on thursday well today's thursday and when I checked on delivery, it's still in Ohio. So it won't be here for a few more days. So it wouldn't have been in the store by the by uh, by Friday either. So that was roughly, uh, this is about what I paid because I used my military discount. So uh, all in all, I'm into this desk for hmm, roughly uh, 500 bucks. And then uh, the couple of extra things I picked up were to deal with all these cables and wrapping them was some ties and some some adhesive not knowing that something similar actually shipped with the desk but this isn't going to be enough in my opinion and i'll talk about that when i start talking about the pieces um, everything was really nicely labeled so there was no guess all the instructions the handful of instructions this is a 20 minute install i mean you're putting you know a couple of pieces together with a handful of screws I'll probably spend more time centering the table top and uh, screwing that in uh, than anything else. But what I thought was interesting, and I'll I'll show that when I move the camera, um, I also decided to pick up some USB extension cables because 
where my PC is in terms of the desk today and raising it up, you know, 20 inches or 30 inches or whatever. Yeah, I'd probably say 20 inches. Uh, that'll probably put a strain on the current connections. So I decided to pick up a couple of uh, USB 3 extension cables to ease some of that pain. And uh, and what? Uh, and again, this model was the DF04.01. And uh, again, the instructions, really straightforward. Uh, there's your parts list. And that's it for the instructions, two pages. Um, and then there's more pages on how to deal with the uh, the controller and, and troubleshooting than there are with putting it together. So it's pretty straightforward. But uh, what I did want to do, and I'll move the camera so you can see this a little bit better, is talk about, uh, actually maybe I'll just leave the camera here. So deciding where I'm going to put this, you know, obviously near the front edge, uh, probably on the right edge. This actually has to plug into with this. 11 pin connection this dual controller and it plugs in right here and this dual controller plugs into each motor and as you can see there's not enough cable to reach based on how wide I have this set up so they've included an extension cable to assist you so now it's figuring out where I'm going to place all the parts how I'm going to adhere all the parts and what I thought was you know awesomely good in one aspect and then terribly bad in another was they provide screws to mount this to the underside of the table like this but yet this particular power this brick and it's and it's thin I like this flat cable this particular brick did not come with this with this, you know, it came like this. So <laughs> this attachment has to attach to this to provide power to the two motors. So once you connect that, you put your cable in your power cable, and then you route your power cable. Well, how do you attach this to the underside of the desk? So they included a couple pieces of, of Velcro, and I think that's their intent. But uh, there was a manufacturer on the rainforest, and this is called, you know, a power brick mount. So you would screw this into the underside of the table, and then with the Velcro, attach the brick. So this is a means of a little more elegantly attaching The power brick under the table than using Velcro because me thinks over Velcro this will get warm the adhesive might slip then the weight will actually over time cause it to collapse so for 10 bucks that took that worry away so again we're into this desk I'd say about five bills the Hopefully beautiful espresso stain butcher block will be showing up from uh, FedEx delivery in the next few days. I'll probably make a video of what that looks like. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't think there'll be a need for sharing the video of a completed desk because uh, it's just a desk that goes up and down. But uh, I think this is a, a nice alternative that gives me... Uh, exactly what I was looking for size-wise, and then going with a uh, uh, a frame of my choice. There were a lot of different frames, single post, this with the double post, you know, considering the size of the uh, butcher block and the weight, I think it's 55 pounds, give or take. Uh, adding that to, you know, this capacity can hold 300 pounds. Um, so you're talking about, you know, 250 pounds worth of monitors and, you know, compute miscellaneous which I won't come anywhere close to. So I think this gives me exactly what I was looking for because, you know, looking over Facebook Marketplace at a bunch of the used ones, you know, they're going from anywhere from 100 to 1,000 bucks depending on who makes it and what condition it's in. And then you have the size issues and the fact that it's, it's used and you don't know the wear and tear on the motor. So uh, this is uh, new and I think, uh, if I read correctly, it has a five-year warranty from Top Sky. So we'll see how the build goes. 
But uh, the wood is due in the next couple days, and I'm looking forward to some uh, some good looking butcher block espresso stain, and uh, hopefully not dinged up or banged up. Otherwise, uh, it kind of goes back to the store. But uh, for 200 bucks to get uh, a five five foot slash 60 inch by 30 inch inch and a half thick of real wood, that's uh, that's a win in my book. So more to come later. All right, this finally arrived, and. It was supposed to be here according to Lowe's, and it looks like we've got two dings. So we'll see what it looks like. It was supposed to be here on Thursday. Then it was scheduled for Saturday. And today is the beginning of the week, so much later than anticipated. So we will go ahead and open it up here, at least the top part where this tape is and then we'll see what it looks like and hopefully that didn't go through to the wood but we will find out so I thought it was interesting as you can see this is what I showed previously what I paid and um, when I went to check on delivery like what's going on it's 35% more expensive one 249 instead of 189 so $60 more and again, last purchased on 11 November. So I thought that was interesting. It's already gone up 35% or so. So no ding. So hard to tell what it looks like because of the wrapping, but I'm not seeing major damage as in gouging. So I will take off all of the uh, wrapping and show it to you then. All right, so this is one side. Again, no, no damage per se. And I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's a very flat it's a good thing I covered the white carpet. <laughs> it's a very flat uh, finish. And I'll flip it over to see which side I'm going to potentially use as the top, because obviously I'll choose the better side or the nicer side. And this is the flip side. I'm going to say that due to just characteristics in the wood, the other side is going to be my choice for the top. All right, so it is screwed in, at least on the four posts, four ends of the two posts. But I found out that I need to seal, according to the instructions, which I'll show you momentarily, because this is stained, not finished, but stained. I need to seal it with a butcher block sealant. Here was the instructions that came with it. It was in the box, bottom of the box. Finishing and maintenance uh, for natural wood, which this is not. Then finished wood, which this is not. And then stained wood, which this is. So you have to finish it within 48 hours of unwrapping the plastic. So I will, now that I've drilled my holes, for example, and know where I'm going to center things, even uh, where the button control is. Uh, I will take the legs off and stain the bottom, let that dry, and then stain the top, uh, strike that, not stain, but finish, seal. So we'll see how that turns out. Back later. All right, so this is how things look after two coats. You can see the sheen. Um, I'm not sure how I like the product. The Watco Butcher Block Oil and Finish. This is actually safe for food contact. Not that I'm going to be doing any cutting for food or having food on here. But what I found interesting is, and again, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up in terms of the sh what I would call the shiny spots or dull spots. But I put the first coat on, and then it says to wait uh, six hours before uh, the next coat. 
which I did, and it was very dry to the touch after six hours. I mean, like, you couldn't even tell there was anything there. Uh, so we are now, let's see what time it is. To, uh, we are 16 hours past the application of the second coat, which was the same, what I would call thickness, or, uh, but it's a lot tackier in a number of places, meaning it's, you know, it feels not wet, but not as dry as that first coat. So I'm going to take a different approach. This is the underside, so it's not, you know, not a big deal. I'll let this dry enough to where I can put the base back on. But I think for the top, I'm going to just do a single coat. And then I'm going to use a product that I used uh, a while back called Feed and Wax by Howard. And I'm going to see how that turns out. Again, worst case, I can just, you know, sand, buff, whatever, and start again. But uh, the bottom is of uh, not real consequence. But I wasn't happy with how the second coat turned out uh, as compared to the first. And I'm guessing the first coat really uh, sank into the wood. The wood was thirsty, and now that second coat doesn't sink in as much, and that's why more of it is staying on top and taking longer to dry. But, uh, I mean, color-wise, looks beautiful. More later. All right, so everything is screwed down uh, base-wise. I only have one screw in here to make sure I want to adjust this correctly back and forth and then I'll put the second one in and I added a washer just for some strength but everything is you know zip tied wire wise um, everything is mounted cables tucked everything is where it needs to be so I will now flip this over and uh, read the instructions about how to turn it on I forgot to add for the power supply of the cable I wanted to kind of hide behind this this leg and I might use one of these type of you know ties to keep the power cable straight but uh, I don't know yet we'll see how that goes so this is top done ish uh, one coat of the Watco oil and we'll see how that dries but uh, looks nice and uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't do the Howard feed and wax treatment. But uh, this came out great. Uh, love how it uh, looks and how it operates. Very smooth, very uh, trouble-free so far.